Hello, welcome to another video. This is a review of the Tendo 5 port network switch. Now this is a 10100 switch, it's not a very high end thing. I'm doing a review because it was on offer at ebuyer.com. Very good service. Ordered this on a Saturday. Apparently got posted on Sunday, don't know how because there is no post on Sunday. But I got the email on Sunday. And it came yesterday which was Monday wasn't in picked it up today and that was with uh, standard delivery so very good service from eBuyer once again I bought this because my dad got some home plugs and he took up some ports on the router and screwed me over so I bought this also I purchased a crossover cable with it because if you don't use crossover cable from your modem or router port it ain't gonna work so that's what I bought so let's check it out um, the crossover cable as of purchasing it as of Saturday from eBuyer was 89p I believe for a 1 meter crossover cable or a 2 meter one I can't remember which one I ordered but it was definitely worth it so what did we get a few leaflets from eBuyer lots of nice packaging these like ear pockets very nice we have the Tendo 5 port Ethernet switch and there it is now it does state when you select the Super Saver delivery it is subject to if you order more than one item they could come at different times which is what seems to have happened at the minute because there's no crossover cable so I guess that will be coming in the post either sometime soon so anyway let's take a look at this which is the main focus of the video we've got all the information on the back it tells us that we can connect it to our router connect the router to the DSL modem blah 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 connect computers so yeah that's that so we'll gain an extra five ports onto our reel. Now I did say modem or router because a lot of ISPs now they, when they send the router to you, the router is actually also the modem. So that's what I'm talking about when I say modem or router. I don't you can't I don't think you can just connect this straight to a modem. I think you do need a router as well because that contains the database and tables of distributed IP addresses for DHCP and NAT and stuff but whatever okay so we got lots of information on the box I'm not going to go through it because there's lots you do get the power supply with this which is great <laughs> wow that is very small I did not expect it to be that small and that is also great little user guide don't think I'll be reading this because I'm a real man <laughs> but yeah it basically tells you how it all works nifty Let's see what the English is like, or English as it may be. Switch features, package contents, seems to be okay. It is Chinese company. Ethernet switch, mini desktop switch, designed for Soho student dormitory and small enterprise users. It has 5 out of 8, 10100 Mbps auto negotiation. Ethernet port supports auto, it seems to be fine English, so it should be all good. Still a bit angrishy grammar, but whatever. That's the user guide. Now, power supply. I'm thankful because it's a relatively small one. It's not one of those big, massive, blocky ones that take up like meters of space in your bedroom. So that's good. It's ROHS compliant. Everything is in this box. Um, it's nice to see them using the egg carton style packaging to be green. Not that I care box to the side and here is the product this is the Tendo 5 port network switch now I've read some reviews and apparently the lights aren't very bright on it not that that really matters but we'll test it soon and we'll see if the lights are bright but let's open it up this doesn't seem to be an anti-static bag it just looks like a plastic wrapper it doesn't need to be anti-static because all the components are shielded by the plastic itself anyway so so, 
here it is, took it out of the packaging and once again it's got even more protective stuff on it stop it from being scratched looks the part I must say on top of my um, airport extreme this is going to look very nice it's also got some mounting points on it in case you want to mount it places and stuff it's got all the information on the bottom and as you can see ah now I've turned autofocus off give me a second there we go 5 port fast Ethernet switch blah 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 trademark stuff don't chuck away ROHS comply ok so that's that. let's take this off because I ain't leaving that on, let me tell you. Model number S105, because that's 5 port. You can also get an 8 port version. I don't need 8 ports, I really don't, so I didn't buy it. AC adapter goes straight inside there. Nothing on the other side. Ports on the back. You have 5 ports, obviously. Um, port 1 will obviously be your from your route or so you don't actually gain five ports you actually gain four ports but whatever still worth it still very worth it um that's about it so let's check how bright the lights are okay so as i said i read a review on the internet that the lights were dim they are not dim at all if my autofocus decides to work that is definitely not that dim nope as you can tell by the video, you can definitely see that that light is on. And if you live in a dungeon like I do, then you are definitely going to see it when it's dark. The AC adapter length does clock in at around 74 inches or 188 centimeters. As I said before, you will need a crossover cable. This one came today and it is a cables to go cable it is not the highest quality cable ever as you can tell it is very thin but if it does the job I don't mind this was 80p and I think it's the 1 meter cable let's get it out just to check you will not be able to use a standard Ethernet cable between your router and the switch it just won't work so you need one of these they're like I say they're very cheap this is indeed the one meter cable because I'm only connecting from my router to my switch and my switch will be on top of my router so it needs to be relatively short. You can get the 0.5 meter cables but I bought this one just to be sure. So as you can say it says on it um, cross because it's cross over cable. Let's get the network switch hooked up and I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Here is my router, this is an Apple Airport Extreme, it's a very good router, um, I've been using it with a server, two Macs, two laptops, two PC, uh, and two PCs, yeah that's it, and occasional DS, Xbox 360, Wii, PSP, stuff like that, and it works absolutely fine, this is an amazing router, but that's not for me to discuss because there's millions of reviews of this as you can see it only has three outputs for the Ethernet and that was a problem because I had my Xbox PC that stole an Ethernet port for a home plug where is the port for the server it's nowhere so we need to connect the switch as you can see that's where the AC goes in this is so you can connect like a, a network hard disk or printer that is the input from your modem, so the modem input will go into there. Um, I'm going to use the first port for the switch, and then these two ports will be server and um, home plug, just so my dad don't get annoyed. So we'll put that there a sec, and I'll get the switch. I had to repackage it all up because I had to wait a day before the crossover cable because <laughs> funnily enough I didn't have a crossover cable as you can see the styling of this is pretty much well not identical of course but it's going to fit in well with my route on so that's good so the first port on the network switch you can't see that very well but this is the first port that is where the crossover cable goes in so either end of the crossover cable it really doesn't matter I'm going to put that into the switch like that then the other end of the crossover cable 
is going to go into the first port on your well not the first port the first output on your router so this is my modem connection here's my first port job done simple as now you connect your devices through the switch and it should work it should just work straight off should need no configuring or whatsoever i don't even think you can configure this so it will work straight off so i'm going to connect it up and see what the speeds are like okay so you can't really see it very well but i've had to position it in some awkward place because of my modem cable being short but as you can see my airport extreme router is on and it's connected because the green light means everything that in the is in the back of the router is having a connection supply to it and just to show you that i will show you my laptop working with the Wi-Fi as you can see it is indeed um, sorry on Google so the route is working fine um, so if we go back up to the switch I haven't plugged that in yet because also I want to show you that I've got my Xbox going through the switch so because the switch isn't on yet can't connect to Xbox Live course makes sense and just to show you that you need no setting up whatsoever with this switch or any kind of switch like this um, because all it's doing is giving you more ports so I'm going to take the AC adapter which I've already plugged in and that took forever to route the cables plug that in you can see the lights on the top of the switch are going to start blinking just give it a minute to set up it shouldn't take long at all really, it shouldn't even take a minute. But as you can see lights 1, 2 and 3 are indeed on because that's what I've got connected. They're blinking so that indicates activity. And the person who said that the lights were dim is talking crap because you can see the lights there so obviously they're not that dim. Um, so let's try and connect to Xbox Live and get my controller. So now that's on Xbox Live should be working perfect. So connect to Xbox Live. Sign in. Yep, yeah, signed in. My Xbox Live Gold membership is going to run out. <laughs> Do I want to renew? No. You're not stealing my details, Microsoft. Anyway, and as you can see, Xbox Live is indeed logged in. So now my Xbox Live and Home Plug is both been through the switch and everything's working perfect and just to make sure that the um, home plug's working I'm going to take this down and try it on the Mac there is the home plug for the Mac it is blinking so it indicates it's working which it should be follow the cable round blah 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 goes to this Mac